So in this video, we're going to start building our trading bot. We're going to start by building a WebSocket app that connects to Coinbase Pro. We're going to retrieve real-time ticker data for Bitcoin prices. And then we're going to convert all those prices that are coming in in real time. We're going to convert those to candlesticks and then try to detect patterns in those candlesticks upon which we're going to base our trading strategy. So let's get started by building the WebSocket client. So if you watched the previous video on getting real-time data over WebSockets, we installed the Python um, WebSocket client package. So pip install WebSocket client. So I'm going to install that WebSocket client. I'll actually already have it installed and then I'll be able to import it. So I'm going to import WebSocket and I'm going to import JSON. The next step is to establish a socket connection to uh, Coinbase Pro. So I'm going to create the string called socket and I need an address to connect to. So if you look at the Coinbase Pro API reference, uh, you'll see that there's this section called WebSocket feed and it gives you this address WSS, so WebSocket secure, WSFeed Pro Coinbase.com. So I'll set socket equal to that string and then I'll do WS equals WebSocket dot WebSocket app and then if you remember from our video for, from Alpaca and Polygon, you need to give it the socket as the first parameter. And then you can give it some callback functions. So you can see my autocomplete code tells you this can accept multiple functions. One is called onOpen, which is code that runs whenever the socket opens. And then there's some callbacks for onMessage. So anytime the WebSocket sends a message for new ticker data, we can say, hey, execute this function based on the message that I received. And then we have some cleanup code that we can run whenever we close the connection. So the first uh, functional code is called onOpen. So I'll set onOpen equal to onOpen. So it will call whatever function is called onOpen in this code. So I'll define this function called onOpen. And that's actually going to receive a WebSocket connection. And so what it's going to want to do, um, what Coinbase wants whenever you connect to its WebSocket is you need to subscribe to a particular channel. And that channel is going to be your data feed um, that sends you uh, price ticker data for, for any given uh, instrument, for instance, uh, Bitcoin. So what I'm going to do is on open, I need to send Coinbase Pro some kind of message saying I want to subscribe to a particular uh, channel. So this is the WebSocket uh, uh, feed and you see it wants you to subscribe to a channel. And so when you send it the message, you're going to send it a JSON payload and the type will be subscribe. And then you just give it a list of the channels. And so one of the channels is actually called ticker. And so we can subscribe to a particular ticker and then just give it um, a set of product IDs. In this case, we care about uh, the US dollar uh, Bitcoin product. And so we're going to subscribe to that channel. So on open, I'm just going to go ahead and print opened connection. And then I'm going to build my message. So I'm going to say subscribe message equals type colon subscribe. So that'll be a string. Then I'll do channels. And then this is just a list of channels to subscribe to. So it's a list of dictionaries. And so I'm going to do name colon ticker. And then I'll pass it product IDs. And the product I care about is Bitcoin US dollar. So I have this payload here. It's actually a Python dictionary, dictionary right now, but I've imported the JSON package so that I can convert this to a JSON string. So I have a subscribe message. And then since I have a reference to the WebSocket in this onOpen method, I can call the send method. So ws.send to send some data to the socket. So I'll do json.dumps and then I'll send it my subscribe message. So that's all I need to do when I open the WebSocket. And then I'll define the on message. So uh, after I subscribe to a particular channel, uh, Coinbase is going to start sending me ticker data like immediately in real time. And I need to give it some kind of function uh, to give this WebSocket app a function to execute every time it receives a message. And then I can process that message. So I'm going to do on message equals on message. So I'll do that and I'll do. I'll define the function called on message. And the first parameter it gets is the WebSocket. So I'm calling that WS. And then uh, it also gets the message itself. 
I'm going to test this out real quick. I'm going to type print received message. And then we'll just print whatever message we got. And let's see what that looks like. So it'll send me JSON back. And so I'm going to do JSON.loads to convert that message to a Python dictionary. All right. So we have our WebSocket app. We have a couple of callback functions. We have the name of a socket. And you also need, from, as you remember from our last video, a WebSocket. And you need to run the WebSocket app. So this is WS, and you type uh, execute the method run forever. And that will just start running the WebSocket, and it'll just keep streaming data. So let's see if that works. So my script is called bot.py. So I'm going to type python3 bot.py. All right. So I'm going to stop it real quick to see, see what happened. Uh, it says open connection, and then it receives a message, type subscriptions, channel, Bitcoin USD, and then it starts receiving messages. So I'm going to keep running it. And what you should see is we connect, we subscribe, and then we'll start receiving ticker data. And so you see these JSON payloads are coming in that we're converting to Python dictionaries. And so it's type ticker. Uh, we have a product ID. We have a price. Uh, it gives us some 24-hour aggregates. And then you also see we have a best bid and a best ask. So you see all these buy orders coming in. So the side is buy. And then you see some timestamps. And you see those timestamps. I'm going to copy one of these messages here so because this is going to be streaming data right now. And so before it scrolls off the screen, I'm going to paste this to the text here. And you'll see we're, we're going to get these timestamps. So we have some prices. And then you see these timestamps. So that's a standard form. We can load that into a Python data type. And what we're going to want to do is, since we're getting these like second by second, uh, we don't want candlesticks based on the second. We want to aggregate these candlesticks. Um, so for each of these uh, opens, uh, for each of these prices, we're going to collect those prices and keep track of what the high and the low is for a particular time period. So if we receive like hundreds of these in a minute long period, we can uh, keep track of what the high price was for that minute long period, keep track of the low price, keep track of what the open price is at that when that minute started and the closing price before a new minute starts. And so we're just going to keep track of these candlesticks in a list. And then we can process the end of this list to detect particular patterns. All right. So this video actually ended up being pretty long. So I'm going to stop this here. And in the next video, we're going to start processing this tick data and building our candlesticks. So stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.